Okay. I've had a couple people asking me, you know, what should I do to prepare for a dollar crisis? Our economy is on life support with 0% interest and stimulus, quantitative easing. We're slowly devaluing the currency. So, what can you do? Where do you start? I think you should look at this like two different scenarios in one. <clears throat> First off, say the wilderness scenario. Right? Basically, like you're out in a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. You just found out there's a large snowstorm coming in. And you'll be snowed in for weeks. Think about what you would want. If the electricity went out, the main water lines broke, you can't make a call because of a weak signal or the phone lines being down, and you're miles and miles away from the nearest town and the road is totally iced up. What would you want with you? What would you want to have stocked up? Well, can food and dry goods. How about a um, one of those LED crank lights? You know, no batteries. Why? Why haul around a bunch of batteries? They're just gonna go dead anyway. You can just crank these LED lights up, and there you go. Um, one of those shake flashlights. You know, no batteries. You just shake it a minute or two, and there you are. Maybe a wind-up radio. That'd be a good thing to have. Leave it on and eventually something's got to come through. Water filters or purifiers. Go out to a stream or something, you know. Chisel off ice or something, who knows. Just You'd want water filters in this case. What about a magnifying glass? You know, you're going to run out of matches. They may get all wet. You may lose them or something. Magnifying glass, you know, bring it out in the sun. There you go. Put your matches up for when you really, really need them. Now, <clears throat> obviously, in some cabin, there'd probably be a wood stove or something, but let's just say in this case, you know, you don't have one. I'd say a small barbecue pit. Warmth and cooking. And a firearm. Let's say you're in bear country. The idea is to protect yourself and what you got. Back in Argentina, when they went through hyperinflation, people were getting robbed. So they called the police and said, hey, help me out, you know. These armed robbers just showed up and they're stealing all my food, clothing, some of my animals. The police showed up, opened fire on the looters, chased them away, and then they wind up taking all the supplies for themselves. So either you couldn't call the cops, the phones are down, or the cops just walked off because, hey man, it's too dangerous, I'm just going to be with my own family. And your family would be at the mercy of the people around you. You have to defend yourself. The second one would be saving up to getting out of debt as fast as you can. I'm trying to save up money for something. <clears throat> Well, you know, grow tomatoes, peppers, onions, garlic in your window seal, and the porch or patio. Get what you can at dollar store, stock up there. Don't buy $80 jeans. You know, especially for work, just go to a thrift store. You know, cook cold meals, throw it in the freezer and defrost it. Take lunch to work more often. This would free up some cash that you can use on other things like more supplies or my personal favorite, silver bullion. Of course you can go out for a drink every now and then, I mean, but you know, you gotta think about your future here. The only one you must provide for is yourself. You know, no one's gonna do it for you. Uncle Sam can't afford people on social security right now. All right, they tax us, they send the money out to them. There's no money put aside. They spent it long ago. So either you save up for yourself or your SOL. I'm saying it'll be there till, you know, 2024. 20, Man, that's bull. They're out of the money right now. Don't be stupid. 
they spend it, they don't care about you. You know, people ask me what I'm afraid of. <clears throat> I say nothing. I see an opportunity and I will not pass it by. Think about it. Does it make any sense that a guy would live frugally because he's afraid that someday he's going to have to live frugally? It makes no sense. You don't get rich doing the same thing as everyone else. I'm the sort of guy you read about in the history books. The one who saw opportunity, planned for it, then had it made in the shade. Do the same thing. You know, if business professors could really teach you to see opportunity, how to really start a profitable business and make money, he wouldn't be teaching you that. He'd be doing it himself. You gotta, and plus that you'd be overregulated. You know, if you if you have if you close down, you lose everything. If you're profitable, you have to give half of that to Uncle Sam. I'm waiting for that to be all history. The government's too big. It can't support itself. Afterwards, we'll have to have a much, much, much smaller, less intrusive government. There you go. Silver value is way too low. And it will rise. It'll become more and more valuable as other people's savings are inflated away. People who hedge their savings will have less competition for available resources like land, you know, buy houses all over the place, or capital to start up a new business. But your good credit ain't getting you jack. You need hard collateral. Keep that in mind. <laughs>